So good morning, dear children, dear brothers and sisters. Long, long time ago, once the Buddha was a very wise quail. You know quail? The little bird, the little bird like this, like a baby chicken. And the quail usually like to hang around, picking uh, seeds on, on the field or on the meadow. And the Buddha was a wise quail of the whole flock. And one day, a hunter come. Hunter want to, to catch the quails and eat them. And this hunter in, imitates the, you know, the language of the quail. You know how to say, do you know how the quail uh, go, Sam? Anybody here know how the quail sound? Twee, 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 twee. Twee, twee. Twee, twee. And the hunter learned how to do that. So that the other quails thought it's their brother or sisters. And you know the wise quail know what's going on. Something is funny in that sound. So he gathering all the flock together and say, dear brothers and sisters, something is happening in the field. Maybe dangerous is coming. There's a hunter trying to catch us. This is the light, the Buddha as a white quail. So you know, we have been uh, reborn in many lifetimes. Same thing like the Buddha. And this is the time where the Buddha manifests as a bird, a quail. And he say, we have to be very alert. We have to be together. We have to, be, to watch out this hunter. And when, uh, if you hear this, tui, 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 don't go to, to, to that sound. But try to run away. But in case if you hear, you saw something like very dark, you know, dark thing overhead, and then, you know, pin your fin, your wind down on the earth, that means the, the hunter throw a net on you. Don't be panic. Don't be afraid. You are captured by a net. So what we have to do is, uh, everybody stick out your head from the webs of the net. And everybody go one, two, three, everybody flap the wind together. So that everybody flapping the wind together, you can carry the net all the way high, high into the sky. And then you will fly to you know, a tree and then drop the net on the branch of the tree. And you all drop down into the ground and then fly away freely. So this is the lesson for you to learn, to work together, to co cooperating together as, uh, as a flock, not individual. Then you'll be okay, you'll be safe. And all the quails understand right away. All the quails listen to this wise, intelligent quail as, you know, the reborn of a Buddha. So they are very confident and fearless. So they go out into the field, into the meadow, and suddenly there is a sound, tui, 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 tui. You know, the hunter. The hunter in, 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 uh, imitates the, the quail's language. And right away, there's a big net, black thing, you know, falling from the sky. And pressure, pressure, and pin all the quails, you know, down on the earth. But these quail already learned a lesson. They are not panic. They are not afraid. They're very, you know, calm. And suddenly, 
all the quails, you know what they do? They stick their head out of the webs from the net. And they say, one, two, three, fly, 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 fly. <laughs> you know, quail are very strong, like little big chicken, you know. They flap, flap, and the, the net go all the way higher, higher, higher. And then they fly to the forest, to the big tree, and they drop down slowly. And you know what happened? The net will drop into the branches, and all, you know, the quail fall down on the ground and fly freely. And this happened many times, and the hunter, and the hunter is not happy about this. <laughs> hunter, amazing, you know, how can the quail? you know, know how to work together. They are really cooperating together as like a sangha, you know? So this is a strength of a community. One quail cannot lift up the net. It's too heavy. But all the quails, hundred quail, you know, flap, flap. You see? So that's why the first lesson is to learn how to be together, how to live together how to work together. Can you believe a monk or a nun or a lay friend, you know, hide himself in the forest or somewhere? They cannot practice. They're not happy. They attempt to be hunted by, you know, by some secret energy, darkness. So this is a lesson. But the hunter knows so well that one day these quails, fetal brain, small brain, will quarrel each other. And when they quarrel, what happens? They don't want to listen to each other. And then that is a time where they don't have the power to lift up the net. And the hunter is patient enough. But you know what happened? The wise quail know that. Already have a thought that his flock of cows will one day quarreling, fighting, arguing. Have you ever fighting with your friends? Yes. Have you ever ar arguing with your parents, your mom, your brother, and your sister? Yes. No? Oh, that's very good. <laughs> you, you see? So, like human, quails also like to fight. You know, their birth, they, they like to fight for their ter territories. You know, the dog, they like to fight for their own, you know, land. Or sometimes dog fight over a female dog, you know. The beautiful female dog and two male dog fighting you know, for the female one. Or cat, sometimes they fight for their food, you know. So like this quail, they're fighting, they're arguing from time to time. And it's right, you know, one day, the quail, you know, fly very high and he land down. And, you know, accidentally he hit the other quail by the end of his tail. And, you know, the, the other quail, the quail who had been hit, say, how stupid you are. Don't you know how to learn how to fly? <laughs> and the quail who just land say, how dare you say I'm stupid? You are stupid. You are dumb. You should move away from my way. So they begin to argue. They challenge, they argue, they, you know, they want to be right. That I'm, you know, I'm intelligent, I'm smart. But it's only accident. Sometimes, you know, we didn't mean to, but we fall into an accident and we fight. We argue. And these two quail begin to argue loudly and then they f go into the fight. They chase each other. You know, they're running, chasing, twisting each other in the forest and make the whole forest, you know, quiet, peaceful, you know, gone away with this too loud, tiggy, 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 very loud everywhere. Like children, sometimes you get angry and you yell. You're shouting. You know, sometimes you emotionally, you cry out so loud. You see, so the quail doing the same thing. And you know what happened? One morning, the hunter know it's time to catch this, you know, unharmonized 
you know, unhappy quail. So they, he goes sneak into the, you know, the meadow. And there's about a whole bunch of quail chipping, you know, picking up the seed. And he goes, to eat, to eat, to eat, and he throw the net. But the wise one already know. So they, he already asked this, you know, brothers and sisters, I think dangerous is coming to us. Yeah, if we don't go away further into the forest, the, the hunter will come and, and capture us and kill us. But uh, some of the, well, of the quail listen to this wise quail. But the one who fight, who like to fight, the one who get a little bit angry, upset, they don't like to listen to the quail, to the wise quail. He say, you already told us how to do it. So even a stupid quail know what to do. So you go. We want to stay here. We like this land. There's plenty of food and, you know, it's fun here. So half of the flock go with white quail into the forest. Half stay. And this half usually are very stubborn, very lazy, like to argue, like, you know, to hang out, no practicing at all. <laughs> like to eat, you know, like to talk a lot, you know. That's why they fall into, uh, you know, an argument. And the uh, hunter knows, so he, he makes a sound and he throw, throw the nets. And all the quail were afraid, panic, because, you know, they're not ready. They are in a vulnerable, you know, mental state because of their quarreling, angry. But suddenly everybody remember the lesson from the wise quail. They stick out their head. And one of the quail, the one that who argue, one of them who argue, say, okay, one, two, and three. Flap, flap, flap. The other guy said, who are you to make order? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're silly. You, you cannot make order for us here. And the first quail say, I'm strongest here. You know, when I flap, look at the wind, the dust come up into the sky. And the second quail say, that's silly. That's not powerful strength. You know what? When I flap the wind, even leaves falling off. And branches bend. And even trunk turning around, spinning around. I think this quail are a little bit bragging, you know. How can a, a, a flapping, you know, turn in the, the trunk around? That's too much. You know, like a tractor, like a <laughs> bobcat, you know. So they keep arguing, and the third one say, you guys are not making order, I'm making order. And the fourth one, I'm going to make an order. So all of them keep arguing, you know, making, who make the order. They are not working together. They are not cooperating together. They are not harmony. They are not listening to each other. And unfortunately, the hunter come and capture them all. Even they stick their head out, ready to flap. But one, two, three, nobody want to fly. Nobody want to flap together. You have to flap at the same time in order to create the force, the lift force, you know, to go up. Here they quarrel. They want to make, uh, you know, I'm going to be the leader. So they, all of them, you know, fight to be a leader. They want to be, be something. And certain that most of them were captured by the hunter. But the wise, the white quail and the other half of flood, they still working in harmony. And the hunter tried to capture them many times, but they failed because they really sticking out their head together and really, really flapping together at the same time. And that's why, you know, you can see the quail today. They're free from, from, you know, capture, free from killing by the hunters. So this is a lesson for us, the lesson of what? Of flapping together. You know, everybody has to flap together. Why, why do we have to flap? We're not birds. Yeah, we, we are not birds, but we are, we have a different way of flapping together. 
like okay when okay when we come here like a flock of birds right a flock of human and we come here everybody want happiness everybody want a peace of mind so when there is walking meditation time everybody should join making step together you see and that's called flapping together and we create the energy the strength the power of No, the power of peace and joy, <laughs> of not catch by hunter of, you know, anxiety, fear, depressed. Yeah, this hunter, you know, can't do anything because we're together. <laughs> we're free. We can fly, How you can know. Fly? <laughs> I mean, our mind free, you know. From anxiety, from fear. That's what I meant. We stick our head together, look at blue sky, enjoy wonders of life. Isn't it nice? Okay, children, you're gonna have drama discussion together about the story. Okay, I just tell you a story. And you have to learn by discussion together what is meant by the story. Okay. So we don't want to behave like quail quarreling each other anymore. We want to, to learn. So listen to one sound of the bell and <laughs> and invite children to stand up and enjoy your day. <laughs>